Hey friends, I said that I wanted you to be creative with the February Love Scripture Challenge. So let's talk about being creative. There are many ways that you can be creative, but you may be sitting there thinking, I'm not a very creative person. This is not going to be my thing. I understand, but let me encourage you to lean in to creativity. It really helps the synapses in your brain to create new pathways and help you, even with logic, reasoning, and critical thinking, to be able to have the ability to think outside of the box. So lean into the creativity a little bit. There are many ways to do this. Did you know that they make Bibles specifically for creative journaling in the sides, as you see here? You could write these scriptures on index cards, punch them and make a a ring for them and just have them as a little book to carry. You could print them out as cards And have them like scripture cards to carry with you or maybe to give to people. You could give one of these scriptures, leave it with your meal, put it on somebody's desk, pack it in a lunch. Or you could try some watercolor stuff, which is what I'm going to talk about. So I'm going to talk about three different things that you could do. One is in a journal, one is on note cards, and one is um, doing something on your computer. So this is the first thing I want to show you. And this is creating a watercolor design in a um, journaling notebook and it looks a little bit like this on the pages it's a little bit messy but it was a lot of fun to do i learned that you could do one page at a time because they bleed onto the other pages and you need to let it dry flat there but it makes a really interesting thing to do this came as an idea with a sermon series that we were working on at the church and i did it both in a journal and on some note cards and i'm even going to share with you the different Um, products that I used. You can also just make index cards, like write the verse. I've literally just used a pen here to write the verse, and then I've decorated it with some stickers down at the bottom. All of those flowers are heart stickers. Even the little leaves are tiny little heart stickers that I cut in half, and I'm going to share with you how I did that as well. Here's a little bit better picture of it. These are the supplies that I bought. I don't want you to invest in a lot of tools to try to be creative. Everything that you see pictured here costs $25. And that's even more than you need to spend because you wouldn't need two sets of markers. And you probably wouldn't be doing cards and a diary. And you wouldn't. You only need the stickers if you're not doing the watercolor um, on here. And that's a, a thing of ribbons. So what I did was go to the arts and crafts aisle at the local discount store. And you can see in this picture that there is some paper on the second shelf that's larger, like 11 by 14 sheets of paper that is meant for watercolor and sketching. Up top, you see a sketch diary that's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Ultimately, I chose one that was a little bit smaller and it was because I liked that price. It was two twenty eight, dollars And if I'm only gonna put one scripture on each page, then I don't really need it, but this has 70 pages, so it's more than what I need for 228. If you're going to do index cards, you have lots of choices. You could do colored ones, you could do white ones. These are ruled index cards. They could help you write straighter, and you can just ignore the lines when you decorate the cards, or flip a ruled card over, and you will have um, a blank backside. You could use a pen, a pencil to very lightly trace the lines by holding it up on the window so that you could write straight and then erase the lines. That's a little more complicated than I wanted to get. The pack on the right, you can see it's already in a spiral binding. That would make it really easy. It's already together. Ultimately, I chose blank index cards. I got 100 of them for 72 cents. If you're going to do the watercolor option, here's how you do that. You're using washable markers and then you're gonna wet the washable markers on the paper and it's gonna make a watercolor and bleed into each other. They do absolutely have to be washable markers. I meant to buy this pack of 50 that you see on the left, but I ended up buying the pack of 50 you see on the right. I wanted to test the Crazy Art versus the Crayola, but I ended up with two different kinds of Crayola markers instead. This is the other pack I got. I got the 20 um, ultra clean washable markers that you see on the left. These looked really cool to me, the Colors of Kindness washable markers. Kind of wish I had gotten those. Lighter colors will allow you to write right on the paper and have it show up more. I'm simply going to use a Sharpie um, or a a fine point pen that will show up pretty well. You will also need some brushes. Um, You can go to the aisle and find these. Um, This was a pack that had a lot of different sizes and shapes, including some sponge 
brushes in there for $3.97. This was a little fancier pack back in the, I call it the pro artist aisle back on the different section that were $4.97. You can see that I ultimately decided to go with what was like $0.97 cents or $1.24 in just the sponge brush. And you literally just color in sections. You scratch back and forth on the page with your color marker. And then you take the sponge uh, brush, dip it in the water, paint over it, and the colors will all bleed together. And then you let the pages dry. You could buy a watercolor kit if you wanted to. That might have been easier. This was probably, this is a lot less expensive than a watercolor kit. And the ribbon that I bought to tie my index cards together or to use as decoration in the journal, it was 98 cents for a roll of that. So overall, these are my supplies that I'm using this month. I'll be sharing the things that I create. And finally, if all of this is just not you, you're like, I don't want to play with water and I don't want to play with markers. Um, you could also go to Canva, canva.com online. You can create um, different things here. This was a very simple picture with the ribbon that I put at the bottom. This was for making note cards. So it comes out at four to a page. I chose a font that I liked. I typed in my scripture verse, put it in there. I could print four of these on a page. I could cut these out and put them in the journal. I could put them on note cards, tape them or glue them onto note cards. I could print them on cardstock and it would already be the cards. Um, or I could turn them into screensavers, lock screens for my phone, whatever I wanted. I hope this kind of gets your juices flowing as you think about how you can be creative, how you can lean into creativity, stretch your brain, get some intellectual inspiration in as we are doing our um, February Scripture Love Challenge.